Be not afraid. I was going out to the meeting one night, and our little boy was standing at the top of the stairs, and he said, where are you going, Daddy? And I suppose he already knew what the answer was. And I said, well, I'm going out to a meeting. And he said, well, just a minute, I've got something for you. So he ran downstairs to his little desk, and he began to furiously draw on a little piece of paper. Fortunately, I had a few minutes to wait, and he came running up the stairs, and he said, here, Dad, preach on that. And he gave me an outline, be not afraid. But then I just couldn't quite understand what this was underneath it. And I said, what is that, son? He said, well, that's a fire-breathing dragon. You know, the old cartographers, when they used to draw maps, and when they ran out of information, they ran out of knowledge of this world before they ran out of parchment, they used to put on the edges, here be dragons. And you know, the unknown in our lives, we could write over them, here be dragons. What are the dragons in your life? The unknown. Those areas of our lives, and we're just not sure, the economy is shaking, and everyone knows it. The political scene is in foment. The international scene is in absolute disarray. In our personal lives, many of us are having family problems. Divorce is on the rise. Suicides are on the rise. Crime is on the rise. Everything is on the rise, it seems. What's happening? Well, what's happening is that this old world has turned its back on Christ and it's falling apart. And one of these days, the Father's going to say, that's enough and his son is going to come back. Now he speaks to our hearts and he says, be not afraid. He's saying it for a very special reason. Do you know what it is? He doesn't want us to be afraid. And he doesn't want us to be afraid because we are with him and he is with us. And those nail-pierced hands are the hands that hold us, and they are the hands that control the universe. They are the hands that someday will bear the rod of iron in absolute sovereignty over this old aching world.